Hey, what's up, guys? Kaiju Lu here of the Super Game Strikers podcast, the official podcast of Game Strikers. And with me is cameraman Sega Sean. Hello, I'm, I'm filming. To help me out in this video. We're almost out of power. <laughs> can't do this myself. But here we are with some extra content for you guys. And what I'm about to show you is my autograph collection from going to recent conventions over the past several years. Of course, I've accumulated quite a few autographs and I feel like showing them off. So here we go. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> first things first. She guys are familiar with this one. Yeah, he was a special guest uh, last uh, that one episode of the unboxing. So. Special guest um, from one of our most recent unboxing videos. It's been a huge honor. A huge honor. A huge honor and a privilege to work with the Nostalgia Critic. But as you see here in this autographed picture, um, this past C2E2 um, that we went to that we made a video of, I didn't get much autographs because there weren't really much people around that really interests me. But uh, I didn't really want to leave empty hand, empty handed, so I just met the nostalgia critic, and only ten dollars for a picture and photo. So here it is, framed, signed by him and his brother. <laughs> his brother. Well, why, did, why did his brother sign it? I don't know. I I didn't even see him sign it. I just see his signature here: Doug Walker, Rob Walker. Hmm, I... So could they see it fine, Sean? Uh, yes, yes, you can see it just fine. The true face of motivation, folks. There you go. Look at that face. So, yeah. Nostalgia Critic. And here are some from my very first C2E2 convention back in 2010. The first one me and Sega Sean went to. Yeah. Uh, my very first autograph ever. Me meeting Mike Mignola, the direct, well, uh, the creator of the Hellboy comics. And uh, here's a DVD copy of the very first movie, and uh, I brought it over. I was like, oh, my God, Mike Mignola. So I had him sign the DVD because at the time I did not own any Hellboy comics, sadly. I always checked them out at my local library. But, uh, yeah, here we go. What is what is signature here? Can everyone see it, Sean? You know what? Give it to me really quick. Let me just show it so you can see right there. It's kind of dark. There we go. That's better. So, yeah, there you go. And, of course... Me meeting a celebrity for the first time. You go, fangirl. Yeah. I kind of went overboard. I had him sign my shirt there as well. What shirt is that? Oh, God. I, I only wore this once during the convention. Sadly, never washed it. Oh, is it washed now? Oh, you don't want to wash it. I see. I understand. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I, I didn't I think of that. I probably will eventually wash it because I really, I don't know. Anyway, Mike Mignola signed my shirt. Cool, cool. It's just a white shirt that says superhero on it. Oh, no wonder why. It's pretty uh, pretty faggotry. <laughs> <laughs> I can cut it out. I'm not going to, though. <laughs> so, uh, no, I'll cut it out. I don't care. <laughs> Anywho, Mike Mignola, Hellboy. One of my favorites. Um, I met Ray Park, too, at that exact same convention. And Ray Park, as you guys know... He's played Darth Maul in Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace, Toad from the first X-Men movie, and also Snake Eyes from the G.I. Joe live-action movies. Cool. And uh, here's a close-up of yeah. that figure. Very the nice. box is a little banged up, but God, I had this box since like 2008, 2009, so this thing is old. Cool. So I had this thing two years before he even signed it, and yeah. <laughs> uh, Ray Park. And these ones were all from the um, – sorry, I blanked out here. Yeah. For my C2E2 from two years ago in 2014, I got confused because I was like, wait a minute. Sean wasn't in that one. Yeah, it was just me. Time's flying. Yes, I can't believe it's been two years. Anyway, here is a DVD copy of Night of the Living Dead. Not the original one, but the 1990 remake and the star of the movie who was Tony Todd playing as Ben – he uh, signed the movie here, and Tony Todd, he's known for playing a million and one things. He is a voice actor, a TV actor, movies, but one of his best, his most famous roles is when he played Candyman in the Candyman horror movies. Oh, wow. <laughs> and uh, I just watched Candyman the other day. I was on TV for the first, uh, I was on TV, the first one, and uh, I didn't know it was filmed in Chicago. 
Oh, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's from Chicago. I saw it for the first time, and it's a really good movie. Oh, you never seen it before? Never seen it. Wow, yeah, it's interesting to see Chicago like that. It's you know? really, really good movie. Nothing's and, uh, changed. So, <laughs> But, yeah, he made this two years before Candyman. But, uh, yeah, really nice guy. I talked with him for a little bit. Super tall, too. I'm, like, by his lip. <laughs> That's how tall he is. Yeah, yeah, he's a very tall man. So, yeah, nice meeting the Candyman. And here is my VHS copy of Pokemon, the first movie, since at the time this was my only source of Pokemon merchandise, uh, signed by Veronica Taylor, known for voicing Ash Ketchum of the Pokemon movies and TV show. Cool. And, uh, of course, me being a, a weeb fangirl. Oh, yeah. Just harassed her with questions. You, you are the weeb man, throwing the little like, extra in. What is your very first favorite episode and why <laughs> what, what did she say she said the first one right she said the very first one because mm. she said they did so many takes mm. with that episode and she said throughout the whole thing she had so much fun you know so memorable and uh yeah yeah this one i didn't get from c2e2 but sega sean uh got this for me when he went to sonic boom mm. two years back in the fall in new york city well himself and panda mare yeah where they met roger craig smith roger craig smith did a lot of characters as well, and Ezio from Assassin's Creed, the current Sonic the Hedgehog, and of course him being Sonic was there, and uh, Sean got his Sonic Generation signed. Yes. And uh, at the time I got my, I was really into the Batman games. Right now I'm thinking, oh, I should have had him sign my Resident Evil 5 game since he voiced Chris. Mm. But then I was like, oh, I really like Arkham Origins. I'm yeah. signing this. Oh, yeah, yeah. When when I was there, too, like I told you, everybody's bringing in Sonic stuff. But when I showed him the Batman, he was like, oh, you know, I love doing this. It, it was one of his favorite performances. Oh, okay. oh wow, you said that. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember you said, he said he was like, oh, wow, look, this game. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. He even said it's like one of his favorite performances because, you know, it's Batman. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's it's a big deal. Everyone will be excited to do the voice of the Dark Knight. Definitely. So no matter how bad people think the game is. I think I'm one of the very few people in the world that actually liked Arkham Origins. So yeah. It was glitchy, but to me it was fun glitchy. Mm-hmm. Um, here, I met at the same C2E2 in 2014, uh, Tony Moore, who did a famous comic book artist. He did the first, he did the artwork for the very first six issues of The Walking Dead. These are all six issues inside this one book set. Mm. And, uh, I met him, only five bucks, did a little signing for me. Wow. Neat. <laughs> Look alive, Lewis. Look alive. Those walkers. <laughs> oh, Tony Moore. And also, Hero is kind of like the program of C2E2 2014. I had nothing to bring, but I had uh, actress Molly Quinn, which is autographed down here, um, if you want to get a closer look. Yeah, sure. She uh, signed it, Molly Quinn. She is known for doing voice work um, as one of the stars in Winx Club. (laughs) (laughs) That was a show. And also she played uh, Alexis Casso in the crime drama Casso. Which recently got canceled, too. Yeah. And uh, she also did some voice work as well. She did the voice of Supergirl from Superman Unbound, the Mm. movie. And also, next year... um, she is actually in the voice cast for the uh, Big Hero 6 TV show. Oh, that's cool. That's going to be on Disney XD. Well, she's got some work. Good. Yeah, so. Always good. So next year, 2017, I keep forgetting. Big yeah. Hero 6 is going to have its own show. See so how that cool. goes. And last but not least, one of my most treasured autographs, Ernie Hudson signing the Ghostbusters game. Um, my PS3 copy. Um, 2014, it was the Ghostbusters 30th anniversary and me being the big fan, I was one of the I was the second person in line. Ernie Hudson was about two to three hours late, but I was in that line the whole time. Yeah. And me and all these Ghostbusters nerds were all quoting lines, <laughs> nerding out. Yeah. It was fun. And, you know, and I was the only one in line who had this game. And a lot of them didn't even play this game. But a lot of them, they're like, they all kept asking me, they're like, oh, is that a good game? Is that a good game? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people <laughs> seem to not know about it, you know, or at least like, yeah, not even taking yeah. a look at it. This came out 2009 for its 25th anniversary. Some might call this, you know, even a angry video game nerd, you know, the third movie. Yeah. Because originally, you know, this was the script for the third movie and they just changed it into video game format. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I had I went, I had the VIP 
special thing where I get to go inside the Ecto-1 yeah. itself and as well as meet Ernie Hudson at the time, who was really cool, really nice guy. And um, I get to meet a lot of Ghostbusters fans as well. So That's always great. That was pretty fun. Um, probably after in the coming month, we're, I'm going to make another autograph video since it's going to be an updated version where after me and Sean come back from Indie PopCon, um, of course, I'm probably going to come back with a few autographs because there's quite a few people I want to meet there. And uh, I would love to show off these autographs. Hell, even Sega Sean will join me on this video Definitely. to show me, to show off his autographs as well. You know, we might as well, maybe it might not be an autograph video specifically, but it might be just be like a haul video, what we got at the con, because I'm sure we'll, it's going to be part... Maybe it might just be part of the whole convention video. So I don't know. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, you know, so we'll keep you updated within the coming month uh, before, during, and after Indie PopCon. But other than that, this is Kaiju Lu. I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I really enjoyed showing off my autograph collection as well as more autograph collections to come in the near future. So uh, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Super Game Strikers podcast, the official podcast of Game Strikers. And be sure to like us on Game Strikers on Facebook. This is Kaiju Lu and, and Cameraman Sega Sean. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.